Hello? Hello? What's your favorite scary movie? COVID-19. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is up, everybody? I am Jeff. And I'm Bethany's voice. <laughs> and this is The Horror Fiend. As you can tell, Bethany is not here with us today in, in person, but she is over on the phone. We have her on speakerphone. Say hi to everybody, Beth. Hey, everyone. She misses you, I swear. She's not trying to I avoid actually, you guys. I actually um, waved like an idiot. <laughs> I'm waving on the camera for you. That way they know. This is her right now. She's doing this through me. Um, but we are not letting no virus stop us from recording. We're going to stick to what we're supposed to be doing. And so, yeah, here's a new video. We're trying something new. Um, hopefully it's not complete crap. Hopefully you guys can hear her okay. My boomstick is like up here and my phone is down here. So hopefully it picks up. I'm assuming it will. Um, so yeah, I guess we're going to we're gonna jump into the shit as always. Beth, I'm going to leave this first part to you because I know how much you love this particular person. And oh, go. Yes. Oh yes, I love me some Robert England. So on March 18th, they did the premiere of True Terror with Robert England, and he, I'm not going to go too, too much into it because I don't want to spoil it in case anybody hasn't seen it yet. Um, it has some really good stories in there, kind of goes back in history and talks about some true stories, and are all creepy. He does great at narrating the, the whole thing. It was awesome. I loved it. My daughter even watched it with me. We had fun. Um, so if you haven't seen it, go check that out. And then in other Robert England news, um, doing a interview, he um, pretty much announced that he's going to be making an appearance on a major TV series. And he said it's a terribly, terribly popular TV series. So everybody's kind of going crazy trying to guess, okay, what TV series is he going on? They didn't even say if it was going to be horror or not so everybody's kind of guessing on that so if you guys want to go in the comments you know what's your guess is what, what tv show is it going to appear on walking dead american horror story we don't know um so there's all that going up and that's my robert england news and i i actually did watch um true terror and i very much enjoyed it. I even recorded it on my DVR because I knew I was going to want to watch it over and over. Um, and like, he, Robert, like I, a few videos ago, we talked about how great Robert England is. And it seems like we do pretty often. And this further proves it. Like, he's literally um, doing this and it was amazing. And definitely check it out, guys. Um, worth a watch. We're not going to talk about what the first um, episode was about because... Quite frankly, again, we don't want to spoil it. We are a spoiler-free zone here at Horror Fiend Headquarters. So just check it out and let us know what you think the the teaser is as far as what show he might be on. Maybe it'll be a new show involving some crispy fried motherfucker. Who knows? <laughs> so That's what I, I would love to watch <laughs> that, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. Like uh, Possibilities are endless, especially right now. Um, so, next topic, and this is just a really quick one, we're going to catch up on it because I thought it was hilarious. I'm pretty sure a lot of you who have seen it thought it was hilarious. There was a Shaun of the Dead um, reunion because of COVID-19, and um, it, it kind of went viral. It was on Facebook. It was everywhere. I think it's on YouTube right now, and that shit was hilarious. Did you get a chance to see that, Beth? Oh, yeah, I watched it. Um, I had numerous people sharing it, so I got to watch it numerous times. I laughed so hard. It was <laughs> fun seeing it. I kind of want another Shaun of the Dead movie now. Now would be the After perfect time. That, that was so much fun. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. It was hilarious. And, you know, perfect for what's going on right now, you know, everything they said. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I loved it. I, I laughed my ass off, like, with, with how... I guess, yeah, dark, with how dark the times are right now, seeing that was just hilarious. And now that's exactly what everybody wants. Everybody's like, man, we need another Shaun of the Dead now. And it's like perfect timing. If there's ever a time to capitalize on a brand new Shaun of the Dead, like 
This is definitely it. This is it. This is the time, and we want another one. We They're do. They're still massively loved. So, yes, this is a huge hint to anyone out there that's listening that can make this happen. Definitely, definitely agree. Um, what is the next subject of topic? Okay, so there was an early release on Mortal Kombat 11 for um, Spawn. So anyone that guys had that going on, and I have a feeling that you may have already gotten that and checked it out. Am I correct? Maybe. Um, yes, I actually, um, you're going to laugh when you see my face on the video. It was fucking hilarious. But... Um, <laughs> Yes, I, I actually, I have the season pass, so I, I get all the early access, and um, I have been playing with Spawn as if it was a sex toy in the bedroom. It is amazing. I love playing with Spawn. His movesets are insanely good. Um, even his base set is like, holy shit, like, this is very Spawn. And I know some of you out there are going to try saying, Spawn's not horror-related. It's like bull fucking shit, okay? If you've read those comics, that shit gets dark and fucking twisted. So I consider it horror-related. And this is something that all of us, especially gamers, this is shit that we've been waiting for for years. We've been wanting this. And now we finally got it in a Mortal Kombat game. So seeing how he responds and interacts with... Like, people like Geras and Scorpion, especially Scorpion, because they're both technically hell spawns, is fucking hilarious, and I love it. And so how are the fatalities? Are the fatalities good? I mean, don't Ooh. give too, too much away, but are they good? Is it worth it? His fatalities are amazing. Both of them are. Um, I kind of like his secondary fatality more than his primary, but they're both badass. Um, his, his brutality are pretty much the same as every other person's brutality but he like pulls up a throne and sits on it and i'm like yeah and um but you get to use all of his moves like this is the cool thing about spawn is like you get to use this there's a one move where he uses his sword and axe and shit like that there's another one where he like so two moves that he uses guns he can use his chains like he uses his cape as a fucking weapon like they actually stick true to what he does and it's fucking amazing and i absolutely love him and Joker was my favorite character, but now I'm kind of leaning towards Spawn just because of the gameplay. Like I said, I've been I've been busting my ass with him, getting used to all of his moves. His, the outfits they gave him are amazing, too. They give him, like, a nod to Deadpool, which is fucking awesome. And um, they, they have, like... I don't want to say it's his medieval outfits, but it's practically his medieval outfits. And um, there's even a version of like angelic spawn. You don't get the wings, but it, the suit's practically the angelic spawn. And it's like, goddamn, like they they did a great job with it. And so yeah, if you guys haven't checked it out yet, um, if you don't have early access, I, I pity the fool. I uh, wait until he comes out and then get him. Trust me, he is worth it. He is a fun ass character. And Nether Realm and Ed Boon has already pretty much teased very heavily that there is going to be a DLC pack two. And the reason why I'm mentioning this is because of the relevance of it, because it is actually extremely relevant right now. Because the rumor has it that in that DLC pack 2, if it happens, excuse me, Michael fucking Myers. There is a rumor that Michael Myers will be in the second wave of DLC for Mortal Kombat 11 as well as Ash. Oh, nice. Yeah, so that right there, I mean, there, there's a reason to talk about it. So you guys are going to have to stay tuned here because there probably will be at some point more Mortal Kombat related news as long as it goes with horror related shit. Okay. Uh, I, I have no problem with talking about Mortal Kombat. I need to get that game. Like, you I'm do. a little behind. You, you really do. It's fucking amazing. Yeah. I need to. I, like, that'd be so awesome. Michael Myers and Ash. Yeah, as long as they do it. Because, like, every game they've done the past few years, we've gotten Jason, we've gotten um, the Xenomorph, we've gotten Predator, Leatherface, Freddy. You know, it, it makes sense that we would finally get Michael. And especially with 2019, or not 2019, but 2020 and the new Halloween, Halloween Kills coming out. It's it, a perfect time. Yeah, it, it just makes sense to do it. So I'm really hoping they do. Um... Right, now, and like I said, it was a strong tease, so we'll see. Uh, um... Yeah, speaking of Michael Myers. Yes, speaking of my favorite person ever. 
Um, Are you wearing a shirt? I'm not. I'm actually not wearing a shirt today. I, I, I am wearing a shirt, but it's not that shirt. I'm actually wearing my hoodie just because I'm kind of cold. I have like my fan on and my window open, so I'm kind of chilly. Um, I, I was picturing you lifting your shirt and showing it to the camera. I was, I was honestly debating it, but I think I'm going to save that for future Michael Meyer videos. But Halloween Night, which is a fan film by Thunder Knox Studios, they they just released this not long ago and it's it's fucking awesome like i i don't say that very often about fan films and i remember cuz i'm a part of all these groups on facebook and they're all like oh my god the watch party's going for it let's watch it and so we all watched it live as the first airing of it and i just i actually caught myself sitting there and actually really enjoying it which with fan films they're hit or miss, you know, yeah. and we can both agree on that. They're very hit or miss. Sometimes they're really good. Sometimes they're utter shit. Um, but this is actually surprisingly good. The guy who played Michael Myers knocked it out of the fucking ballpark. Like, I love the way he moved. I'm, I'm not going to compare him to, like, Warlock or Castle or Courtney or anybody else like that. But he definitely had his own style. And I really enjoyed it. What did you think of it? I thought it was fun. Um, like the first chunk of it, like trying not to give too much away. The first chunk of it, I was, I thought it was hilarious. Right. You know, the, it had a lot of comedy in it, and I loved it. You know, it worked well. It wasn't too um, cheesy. You know, it wasn't too cheesy. It was like it was, it was well and well placed. I thought. Um, I agree. I think even like little cues in there that. Um, maybe some people may have not noticed that I did. I thought it was just hilarious. I enjoyed it. It was fun. Um, a believable Michael Myers. Definitely. So that was great. And um, the storyline was interesting. It was very interesting. I like it. And like I've been debating if I wanted to drop the the info about the main character. I decided not to. Um <clears throat> Because I don't want to spoil it again. It's it's people out yeah, there probably. Yeah, you don't want to give too too much away. Like I wrote it down a bunch of stuff that I was going to talk about, and then I was like, well, no, I can't because I don't want to give it away on the video. I want people to go watch it first. Exactly. So um, we will be touching up on this Halloween night in a future video, probably next week's video. We're going to be touching up on it again, and we are actually going to discuss more details because hopefully everybody has seen it by that time. All I will say is I love the direction they went with it. The main character actually made me extremely happy. Um, I will I will say this. It's not really giving anything a lot away. But um, Loomis is in it. Like, this is one thing that I really enjoyed about the movie. Um, without giving it away, because I'm not going to say how he was in it or what they did or how they did it. But it was amazing. It gave me chills. And I mean that that alone, like you guys know by now how much I absolutely fucking love Halloween. And they did a great job with this. Um so if anybody from Thunder Knock Studios happens to see this, or if anybody who watches this, you know, talks to them or anything else, let them know that we say bravo. Like, they did a great fucking job. You impressed me, and I'm, I'm a hardcore, hardcore Halloween fan, and you guys impressed me. Um, I want to see more, honestly. I, I really do. Like, I want to see where this goes and how it happens. Yeah. Um, the Easter eggs. Oh, my God. The fucking Easter eggs were amazing. And the soundtrack. The soundtrack was uh, fucking on one. I loved the soundtrack. It's a great soundtrack. Uh, right from the first clip and the scene, I was like, yay, this is going to be fun. Yeah, that so, soundtrack. And, and it was. I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, so guys, if you haven't checked it out, it is called Halloween Night. It is a fan film. It is from Thunder Knock Studio. Check it out. Trust me, you're going to enjoy it. It is better than that fucking remake of Nightmare. <laughs> I, have to, I have to take and a jab at it again. better than the remake of Nightmare. I, ha I have to take a jab at it. I'm sorry. I, I, I like the movie for what it is. Like, I could sit there and watch it. It hurts me, but I could watch it. Um, but no, well, definitely. It, it, well, and it's funny, too, because I just read that they are going to be taking the remake off 
And I'm like, it barely got on there, and they're already taking it off. So Because yeah, nobody's show watching it. <laughs> how much? Yeah. It's the fit. And nice I, try. Nice try, remake. And but. I feel so bad for Jack Earl Haley because he did a good job. It's just the movie and the CGI is... Uh, I know, I know. <laughs> okay, next topic. And this is going to be fairly quick. I'm just throwing it out there because I saw it. And obviously, I want you guys to know because I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of us love this movie. So, Killer Clowns from Outer Space is coming back to Netflix next month. It's almost here. Um, I, I'm not even going to ask Beth if she's seen it. We've all seen that damn movie at least once. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that was the first shirt I wore for the very first episode. Yes, I, I am excited. Killer Clown shirt. Who doesn't love that movie? It's Everyone true. should love that movie. It's true. And now, if for some reason nobody's seen it, now's your chance. Like, it, it will be on Netflix next month. Um... And that's that's pretty damn cool, and that that's all we got to talk about with that. The last thing we're gonna mention, guys, is um, so Shutter, and they, like this this is gonna be more than just Shutter, but we're gonna talk about this. So Shutter right now is offering a free month of Shutter for anybody who doesn't have it or just wants a free month because of all the shit that's going on right now. And the code, excuse me, the code for it, I'm going to I'm gonna say it here, that way you guys can have it and you have a direct source. Um, you could also Google it and probably find it. But the code is SHUT IN. S-H-U-T-I-N, all one word. And it is a 30-day pass. Um, I already have Shutter, so, I mean, I might use it, I might not. Um, but it's, it's free to everybody. It's not just like, oh, one person could use it. Like, this is a code that everybody can use. So if you want a free month of Shutter and you want to check out all the awesome, awesome shit they have on there, now is the best time to do it. Bethany, have you done it? No, I have been waiting for an app. I am one of those unfortunate ones. So I'm looking into getting a Roku so I can have it. That's a good idea. I have it on my phone, and I have it on my Xbox. The, the PlayStation doesn't have it, sadly, so I can't put it uh, on there. Everyone's still waiting. I'm, you know, we're all in the same boat. Everyone that, that is stuck with that, like myself, we're all in the same boat. We've been waiting for a long time. We're really hurt and upset. But, like I said, I'm going to start looking into a Roku now so I could try to, to get it. I've been wanting it. I don't want to go through Amazon Prime, but you can. I just don't want to go through there because I've heard that they don't give the full library. Um, and I'm one of those, I want to watch it on my TV, you know? I don't want to watch it on my phone. I want to watch it on my TV. But if I have to, I might check it out on my phone. Yeah, I, I have it on my phone for when I'm at work mainly. <laughs> so I have something to entertain me while I'm at work. Um, that's like with everything though. Like I have Netflix and Hulu and Disney Plus all on my phone as well. So that's just like past the time. But um, yeah, it sucks. Guys over at Shudder, if you if any of this video comes to your guys' way, for the love of Cthulhu, please put it on the PS4. Like, besides me owning an Xbox One and a Switch, I also own a PS4, and I'd like to be able to watch Shudder in my room where it's spooky. Yeah, I've been waiting. I've been waiting. I'm gonna, I don't know. I might do the free trial through Amazon. I don't know. We'll see. I think it's worth it, honestly. Um, watch anything, Joe Bob. Fucking awesome dude. He was at Frightmare. Oh, there's that damn word again, Frightmare. But he was there, I think, like a year or two ago. Awesome fucking guy. I love I know. him. He was amazing. He was so nice. Like, I was so nervous. He was so nice. He was a sweetheart. I loved him. He was great. He really is. I like him. He He's one of those guys where you can kick back, have a glass of whiskey with... And just shoot the shit. He's really cool. And I, I, I enjoy his company. I, I really do. Like, hopefully we'll get to see him again. And lastly... Oh, sorry. It would be. Like, um, we'll see. Um, but now to get into the more serious of topics, everybody. Because, like I said, we are going to try to do it to where we're going to be talking about everything. Not just horror, but we are going to talk about... The darker side. The real life horror, like I said last week. Um, Corvin 19, obviously, is a big deal. 
if you're if you're smart like me, you're not panicking, you're not freaking out about it. You know, you realize the situation. You assess In it. any emergency, you do not panic. That is the number one rule. Do not panic. Exactly. So hopefully <clears throat> you guys aren't panicking. You know, hopefully you're not bulk buying. Hopefully you're not buying diapers for babies who actually need diapers. Like, don't be that person who just buys diapers so you can catch a poo in it and throw it away. Babies need that shit, just like I said last week. Anybody who's doing that and you don't have a baby, fuck you. I stick with that. You know. But it is it is getting worse in America right now. Um, I can't speak for all of America, but in our state right now, the reason why Bethany is not here and is over the phone with me is because right now, last week, one week ago to this day, there was only six cases in New Mexico, which is where we live. Um, the majority of them were in Albuquerque, a.k.a. Bernalillo County, which is where we live. We live in the thick of it. A week has passed, and we have over 50 cases now. Confirmed. There is probably still many more out there that hasn't been confirmed. But we have over 50 cases that is confirmed. Um, our governor has pretty much... We're not quarantined yet. Like, I still go to work. I'm still out there protecting people, fighting the good fight, you know. You guys are welcome. And, um... It's definitely stressful. It is a stressful time, especially, you know, Beth has children. Um, it's extremely stressful for her. That's why she's not here right now. She's being the good mother that she is. And, you know, holding the fort down over there, kicking ass. And I am over here enjoying my hour and such before I have to go to work. Um, but it is getting... You have to go out in the thick of it and putting yourself at risk. I am. For those who don't know, I deal with a lot of elderly and I deal with a lot of homeless every night that I go to work. And I'm surrounded by them. And... I don't have a choice in the matter. Even if I did, I'd probably still be working. But um, that's what I do. Today is my Friday, though, so after this, I get to drink and relax and kick back for two days, play some Animal Crossing. Yeah, I'm going to be playing Animal Crossing. It's, it's the escape that I want. Um, but with that said, just everybody, um, again, practice basic hygiene, you know. Yeah. Fucking wash your hands, cough in your arm, sleeve. Wash your ass, hand sanitizer. If you're going out in public, put something over your face. That's what I would do. I've been using one of my bandanas, even at work. Um, but definitely protect yourself. Um, nothing will probably happen to you. But if you do somehow catch it, that could easily go to older people. And they could catch it and it could get worse. Um, out here, there is a infant who has it. And... Everybody's freaking out about it, and it's like, it sucks. It really does, because infants don't really have an immune system, so they technically are compromised health. And yeah, it's very scary, and, you know, I just saw that, and it's, it is. It's very scary. And I just want to throw out there, too, you know, if you, if you can, you know, stay home as much as possible. I know there's people that still have, you know, are required to go to work. Um, you know, I know... You know, we still got to go to the grocery stores to get our food and stuff, and I understand that. But if you can stay home as much as you can, that is the best thing for this to help prevent the spread. Um, and and I know he was saying that for young people, you know, it may not affect them as much. Um, but studies are showing now, because like, like I said, this thing is changing on a daily basis. Um, studies are showing now that there are actually a lot of, um, younger cases coming out of Italy who we're kind of using as a model right now um, that, that are younger people that are, ha are also needing um, respirators. Yeah, and I, um, from what I understand, too, don't take ibuprofen. Yeah, don't take ibuprofen at all. Like, that seems to escalate Aggravate. the yeah, issue. It, it definitely aggravates it. So um, they are strongly encouraging Tylenol as the alternative. For somebody like me, it's kind of hard. I can't take Tylenol because I have a condition called gout, and it flares up every now and then, and Tylenol is actually extremely fucking bad for gout, so I can't take anything, <laughs> even when I'm in pain. Like, I'm resorting to good old Guinness right here for 
a little bit of pain relief, but I, I can't take ibuprofen or anything right now because if if somehow for some reason I have this, I I don't. But if that came down to it, and like I know all the symptoms. If you guys don't know the symptoms, look them up. Fever is the big thing they're looking for. They are looking for fever, and it is a dry cough. I can't stress this enough. A dry cough, okay? Not the mucusy cough, not the runny nose shit. It's a fever and a dry cough that they are going to look for automatically. And if you do have any, uh, any sort of um, sore throat, gargle salt water. This is one of the things that is a time-honored classic. It works, and they're even saying it. It's like... If you do feel yourself having a sore throat, gargle salt water, do it um, a few times a day. It'll help with the infection and prevent it from spreading because that's how it starts. Yeah. It starts. Yeah, because it lives in your throat until it, and then it moves into your lungs. Exactly. Or you could do what I'm doing and kill the bitch with beer, just in case. <laughs> um, that and whiskey, that's what we're doing. I didn't get to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, and if you couldn't tell by the color of the beard, I am Irish, and... Um, so it was kind of sad because that was a sad day. Normally I go to this place called Two Fools Tavern and I get my, my cottage pie and I'll drink. And I didn't get to do any of that because it just didn't feel like right celebrating. But um, I will be on my Friday. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy a few adult beverages and probably go to Two Fools and get takeout, which is really fucking weird to say. Um, right? <laughs> Carry out in every <laughs> restaurant, you know, yeah. It's yeah. interesting times. It's very interesting times that we're experiencing. And, you know, and, and I agree with what you said on the last video. You know, the scariest thing is other people, unfortunately. And, um, you know, you see it in the trend of every apocalypse movie that you watch, every zombie movie you watch, um, any outbreak movie you watch. And it, it's always the people that make these situations scary yeah you know all you're being asked is to sit your ass at home watch movies hey shutter 30 day free shutter right there you know all that's all you're that's being asked of you you know you don't have to go there you know we're not going without our water isn't going to go off as far as we know the power is still good everything's still good you know you all that's being asked is that you stay home as much as you possibly can and watch TV. You know, we're not being called out to war. We're not being called out to do all this, you know, insane stuff. And they're not running out of food until you went and took all the food. Exactly. Um, I actually, I did go grocery shopping on Sunday last week. And I was surprised, man, because I, I, I didn't want to believe it, but it's true. I went in there, all the toilet paper was gone. All the, all the frozen chicken, all the frozen hamburger, all gone. All the all the freaking noodles gone, like all the pasta, rom even ramen, ugh, like all of it, everything, yeah. everything was gone. And luckily, like the frozen area, as far as like frozen pizzas stuff like that, there was still stuff there, so I was able to stock up at least some food. And I'm gonna be getting more, but um, you you pretty much just have to grab what you can find when yeah, you find just, it. I, and... I I tell everybody, it's like treat it as if you're just going grocery shopping. You know, don't. Don't overbuy because then, you know, what happens if shit goes bad? Like, some crap's not, and a lot of people have deep freezers and shit like that. But it's like, just, there's no reason to freak the fuck out about it, you know? I keep, I keep saying it. It's like, yes, acknowledge it. Know that it is serious. Freak out is not going to do anything. All it's going to do is cause a mass hysteria. And if there comes a time where there's martial law, anybody tries breaking into my house, anybody tries breaking into my neighbor's house, I will put a fucking bullet in you. Because... I will protect my family. I will protect my friends. And, you know, I have a license, or I don't want to call it a license, but I have my, my concealed carry, and I, I am allowed to fire a firearm, you know? And so I, I will protect mine. Hopefully it doesn't get to that. Um, there is rumor going around, you know, we're not at lockdown yet. Yet. Yeah, I mean, we still have, we still have, if you're looking and monitoring from other states and stuff, I mean, we still have some time before we even get anywhere close to full lockdown. Yeah, it seems like everybody's you know, going and little by little. if they need to, they're going to, you know, obviously they'll do it if they need to, and the only way they'll need to is if people aren't doing their part and, you know, having their social distancing and, you know, staying home as much as possible. If we just do that, then 
I'm, this is the way I see it. If we just do that, we can get through this faster. And then you guys can, you know, see me on the video again. And then we can see our loved ones again. And, you know, our friends and family that we're not able to see right now. So, you know, if we could just hunker down for a tiny bit, you know, eventually this is going to pass and we'll be good. But if we keep just, you know, acting like everything is a party and it's not that serious and, you know, that's going to spread it faster and then, you know, that's going to make the peaks more hard for our hospitals to deal with. Exactly. And, and um, on a lighter note, speaking of this whole subject, the real life horror, as I like to call it, um, China is actually, they haven't had any new cases. So... China's had this the longest. It originated out there. I'm not calling it the Chinese flu or the China virus. I mean, Kung flu kind of makes me laugh my ass off. I'm not going to lie. I like puns like that. It's the Kung flu. But, um, but where it originated, which was China, um, they haven't had any new cases. Like Everybody's actually starting to come around now. Like They're starting to get better, which is a yeah. great sign. You know, that lasted out there for about three months or so. And so, I mean, worst case scenario, if that happens out here in the States, we got about another month or so worth of doing this and we can, like, we'll get through it. That's, that's the great thing about, you know. Yeah, it's, it'll, it'll pass. It, it will. This isn't, you know, the apocalypse. This isn't the end of the world. This is, you know, a virus that's going around and it will pass. I, you, you said, know? once you said the end of the world, I started singing that REM song. It's the but end you, of the world as we know it. <laughs> I've been hearing that song like nonstop. <laughs> right. But it will. We'll get through it. It'll pass. And then we'll be able to slowly start going back into some kind of normalcy. Hey, did you know, and like this is towards you, Beth, and towards everybody who will at some point be watching this. Do you know that if you say COVID-19... In the tune of Hey There Irene, it goes hand in hand. And like I've been doing it every since every, every time I talk about it now, I go, Corvin 19, and then I start humming the rest of that fucking Hey There Irene song. <laughs> I'm never gonna be able to hear that song the same again. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yeah, see Thank that that's so that's how it's been that. for me. That's how it's been for me. So like every time I hear it, I start saying it, Corvin 19, and I start laughing my ass all like it works. It really does. Um <laughs> With, I will never hear that the same now. Thanks. Right? You, you are very welcome. You are very welcome. So are all of you. You guys are welcome for that. You're not gonna, you're not gonna let that out of your head. But everybody, with that said, it is the final. Oh, oh wait, 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 oh, wait, wait, wait! Oh. Before you wrap up, um, the email. Damn it! I was gonna save that, but I guess. So, boils and ghouls, peeping freaks, children of all ages. There is now an email for the horror fiend. Um. I, built, I made it like a week ago or so, and it is live. It is very simple what, what the email is going to be. Beth, would you like to tell them this very simple email? No, you tell them. Share it. You're there. Be animated while you're doing it for me. I'm by animated if you mean drinking a beer. Um, so the email for the Horror Fiend, for the Horror Fiend, is... The horror fiend at gmail.com. <laughs> HQ. Oh, what did I put HQ? Yeah. That my bad. That my bad. <laughs> Never mind. It, it's the beer. Um, so scratch that. It is the horror fiend HQ headquarters at gmail.com. With that, you will be able to reach out personally, privately to me or to Beth, it is completely up to you guys. Um, in the subject line, just put one of our names. And there we go. If it's for both of us, just put both you bitches or something. And um, we will look at it. We will read it. And we will respond either through email or if you want it on the video. We will read it on the video. And we will discuss whatever it is. And this can be anything, okay? It doesn't just have to be... You know, personal things. If you just want to say hi and you want to um, just be friendly or if you have any ideas or if there's like a topic you want to hear us talk about within the horror community, um, you guys can not only drop it down here, but you guys could also send it through email. And um, again, we will respond. We, we plan on responding to everybody. Um, 
but yeah also obviously if you guys have personal things and you just need somebody to talk to especially during this time because i understand this time is hard for a lot of fucking people uh and you just need somebody to vent to about it like i said you can you could vent to me you could vent to her you could vent to both of us and... oh yeah we'll bitch about it together oh yeah definitely and um we will we're gonna all be in it together man we're gonna we're just gonna do what we do and we're gonna get through this that's that's what we do that's what everybody does that always happens you know the shit's happened a lot over the over the decades and we've gone through all of it we're gonna keep getting through all of it because that's how we are we just got to avoid people being stupid which is the big thing people being bad to each other which is what i i am against as you guys all know we're against that shit we spread positivity we want everybody to be fucking happy and you know singing kumbaya fucking ya and shit like that like that's <laughs> That's, that's a, <laughs> maybe not Kumbaya, that's going a bit far, but you know what I mean? Like, that's what we're trying to do. I'm not doing that. I, I, I'm not doing that. We'll just stick with the Corvette 19. Damn it. <laughs> it's never going to hear it. It's the same like 10. But, um, with that said, guys, um, you know, you already know what I'm going to say. I'm gonna, I say it every week. I'm going to try changing it up a little bit. With this pandemic going around, it is especially important that we are good to each other. We have to be there for each other, be there for our neighbors, be there for our friends, be there for our family. You know, if you see a little old lady trying to get some food, help her. Don't don't snope it or snope it. Don't scope it from her. <laughs> help her, you know. Like let's try to be decent human beings. Let's try to just get through this shit. That way Halloween twenty God, I keep saying twenty eighteen because like I'm looking at my twenty eighteen poster. But <laughs> Let's make sure that Halloween Kills comes out in 2020 and not digital. That is another thing. I completely fucking forgot that. This video is almost wrapped up, so I'm just going to mention it real quick. Um, anything that's been in theaters is now pretty much available on digital. So if you're planning on seeing a movie, um, you guys still can, but it's not in theaters because like almost every theater is closed down right now, if not all of them. So um, like Disney Plus has like all their newest, like Frozen 2 and shit like that. Um and everything everybody's doing it there's like you can get it on digital like literally you can go into xbox playstation and get shit digital and watch it that way that way you might not be able to go to the theater but at least you could still watch your shit and you know see that movie that you've been wanting to see that maybe you can't see now because of all this crap so you actually can see it which is really fucking awesome with that said everybody the last thing i am going to say is only you can prevent coronavirus be good to each other. Bethany, any last words? I'm going to hold the phone up so they can see my blank screen and you could say bye-bye to them. Bye, guys. Wash your hands. Wash your asses. Be clean. That's pretty much it. Okay, guys. With that said, I am Jeff. I'm Bethany. This is The Horror Fiend. You guys, we will catch you next week. Peace.